So we are here to get our people to repentance. Our brothers got to realize they're the mightiest thing that God put on this earth. And it's time for us to leave. take a soul, stand fast in the faith. People need me, so I can't fall. We trying to elevate Enoch or Elijah for the Messiah. Keeping commandments, not try even fire. You filthy if you full of sin. The kingdom you won't enter in. Why she making clean for the husband comes to clean? These well, women I'm are tired of it. Rest, so I'll make it plain. Messiah coming only for the elect. You better walk circumspect on the highways and hedges. Purge that spiritual house of all heaven. Charge of a prophet. They think they're tired. Of they are the tired. Brothers, Charge where you at? Of a prophet. Charge of a prophet. Gotta stay the lost soul. Who's the king? Right. Who's the king? Right. What time is it? What? Any brothers got questions? Questions? Yes, sir. Come on, man. Why, why are they so against I'm sorry, old school. I got to say something. Yeah. Brother. Yeah. You see the brother speaking, don't disrespect him like that. Please don't. He's, he's, he has a question, he's trying to make a statement. Please give him his time to speak. That was disrespectful, he's talking. Go ahead, well, old school. I want to know why uh, the, where do the Mexicans fall in, play as far as the tribe, you know, and history, and were they a part of the slave trade? Yes, absolutely right. That is an excellent question. Let's go to Deuteronomy 28. A lot of times when our people come across, come over, come over, old school, come over. There's some signs I want you to see. That's why I'm telling you, come over. I ain't trying to, uh, how you doing too much moving. So a lot of our people, yeah, a lot of our people, when they hear the, the truth, they say, well, how do how they our people? How do they fall into our family line? Those are your brothers. Watch this. You see this sign? Are you getting your things? Go on here. Take your time. Take your time. You see this sign right here? I'm going to show you something. All of this on this sign is in the Bible. Ask us to prove it. We're going to prove it right now. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 15. Bring it out. Our elder right here, he had a question. He said, how are the Mexicans a part of the 12 tribes? How? We finna go into the Bible and prove it. Yeah. Read. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So, old school, you with me, bro? So, this was Moses talking to us in the wilderness when we left Egypt. He said, if you listen to God, he's going to bless you. If you don't listen to God, he's going to curse you. So we're going to read some curses that will happen to the people on this sign, which is going to prove that the Mexicans are a part of the 12 tribes. Give me Deuteronomy 28, verse 46. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever. Read it again. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. So the they in that verse is talking about the curses. It said the curses was going to be on the Israelites for a sign. A sign identifies something. A sign shows you something. So what it was saying was you're going to know who the Israelites are by the curses because the curses fit the Israelites. You know who's an Israelite by them fitting the curses. So let's read a curse. Give me um, thy cattle. Yep. Verse 31. Thy ox shall be slain before thine eyes, and thou shalt not eat thereof. Thine ass shall be violently taken away before thy face. Now when you examine history, are you familiar with any history of the, of the so-called Mexicans? They was already over here first, weren't they? They had their own community already first, did they? Had their own kingdom. They went by the name of Aztecs. 
The Aztec Empire, which is what I was talking about. These pictures right here. They was the ones who built pyramids. Now, so we finna go to the Bible and show that the Israelites made pyramids. The Israelites made pyramids. The pyramids you see in Egypt. Yeah, I agree with the, with the bricks that they were showing. I agree. I agree with the, yep. the Exodus chapter 1, verse 11. Bring it up. Therefore, they did set over them taskmasters to afflict them with their burdens. And they built for Pharaoh treasure cities, Python and Ramses. So this is talking about when we was in slavery under the Egyptians. The Egyptians made us build all those statues of them with their faces on them. You familiar with the Valley of the Kings? You looked that up? That's Pithom and Ramses. We built those pyramids. The so-called Mexicans, when they came over here, the Aztecs, they was building pyramids. It's pyramids in Mexico. Right. You know why? Those are Israelites who built those things. That's right. Showing you what? The Mexicans are Israelites. Let me show you another one. Uh, go back to Deuteronomy. You get something out of history book. This book right here is called Lost Tribes in the Promised Land. A so-called white man came over to this side of the earth back when they was ruling. And he saw they was living, how they was dressing. He read the Bible and he was like, damn, these are the people that the Bible is talking about. That's right. right. Bring it out. Lost Tribes in the Promised Lands by Ronald Sanders. Okay. We're on page 187. For with increasing frequency and conviction, Duran came to see elements of Judaic characters in the old Aztec religion. Hold on. Old school, stay with me. So-called white men came over here. Those Spanish explorers, they came over here and they said they saw characteristics. They saw the Aztecs acting like Jews. I'll make it plain. He, they looked at him and they said, they moving like the Jews move. All they custom ceremonies, where they talk, where they dress, this how the Jews move in the Bible. Read. At first, this tendency appears only as fervent, as a fervent search for Jewish analogies, provoked by Aztec customs, such as the eating of only unleavened bread. Oh, ho, ho, ho. The Israelites eat unleavened bread when? During Passover. Right. I told you, that's in the Bible. We got a history book to back it up even further. All of this on this side is in the Bible. Why was the Aztecs eating unleavened bread? Because that's an Israelite custom. That's Read. right. Pro provoked by Aztec customs, such as eating of only unleavened bread on certain days of the year. The, the, the prohibition of drinking liquids after the eating of certain ritual foods and the use of baths for purification. When you read the Bible, we got laws on washing your behind. Showing you what? They are the Israelites. That's right. Read. In time, this began to seem to Duran like overwhelming evidence that the Indians are indeed descendants from the lost tribes of Israel. So this white man came to this part of America and he said without a shadow of a doubt, they are Israelites. By their customs, by how they talk, by how they dress, they are the Israelites. That's right. That the Bible speak of. I'm going to show you something else. There was something else that they was doing that caused them to get in the lower state. Because they had pyramids, they had a community, they had families, they had wealth. What was they doing over here? No, no, not that. It was something else that was going I'm going to show you some history. I'll give you a five-line question. I'll give you a five-line question. They was doing what? That breaks the agreement that God made with us, all 12 tribes. If you do what I say, I'm going to bless you. If you don't do what I say, bad things going to happen to you. Right. So we're going to go into some history. This is what the Aztecs, the so-called Mexicans, our brothers, was doing over here when they was over here by themselves. They originally came over here to keep God's laws. 
but they started going off. While they was over here, they was doing human sacrifice. Right. Right here. They was killing each other and eating each other's hearts. Committing so human sacrifice. That's against God. Teacher. Hosea 8.13, it's in the Bible, read. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 8 and verse 13. Bring it out. They sacrificed flesh for the sacrifices of mine offerings. They sacrificed what? Flesh for the sacrifices of mine offerings. Now some may say, wait, when they sacrifice an animal, here. But this flesh right here, the Lord didn't accept this flesh. There was something wrong with this flesh. Read. And eat it. But the Lord accepted it not. God was not accepting no human sacrifice. That was against the law. Right. That was not our custom. So they came over here to keep the law, but started going off. Show you something else. Give me Hosea 4 and 17. Hosea. This is 4 and 17. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4 and verse 17. Bring it out. Ephraim is joined to idols. Let him alone. Read it again. Ephraim is joined to idols. So, back then, they started worshiping other gods, worshiping statues other than the Most High. During this time, when they was over here, they started worshiping other gods. They kept some of the rules of the Bible, but a lot of them, they was making up their own rules and doing their own thing. So, the punishment for that was this. Deuteronomy 28, 50. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. Because the Spanish, while we on this topic, the Spanish come from Europe. Spain is in Europe. Right. This is the Bible telling you about the so-called white man coming over here. Right. To do what? Take over. They didn't come over here for peace. Right. Read. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. Why was God bringing this nation against the so-called Hispanics? Because they was not keeping God's laws. That's right. Read. From the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flies. From the end of the earth. Europe is all the way on the other side of the earth. They came all the way over here. Why? Because Christopher Columbus let them know what? It was wealth over here, gold, and the children of God was over here. That's right. You understand that? Read. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. When a so-called white man came over here, what was he doing? He was speaking what? Spanish. The so-called Mexicans weren't speaking Spanish. Before he came over here, they were speaking Hebrew. Why? Because they are the Israelites. That's right. Read. Verse 50. A nation of fierce countenance. Fierce countenance. This is fierce countenance. This is what they did to the Hispanics. Hung them up by 13s in honor of Christ and the disciples, burning them alive. Look at it. I'm showing you what. Those are your brothers. Cut the nonsense. He a different game, so what? He from over there, he live over there, so what? That's your brother. Now they will see the true men of God. We are not black men, we are the Israelites. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons.
IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.